Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. Ooh, that, oh, yes. This is the first time you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, well, honey, you have found me, all right? So listen, my whole vibe is like we're on a FaceTime call. Like that messy best friend that calls you with pimple cream and says, girl, did you see the latest tea? That's me, bitch, okay? So get comfortable, grab a snack, put that pillow over your tummy, get cozy, because we got to talk. So Britney Spears' book, The Woman in Me, came out, and girl, it is causing so much sensation. It is causing so much, like talk and conversation and one thing i have to say to you before we get into this christina t is that and i'm gonna say this in every single video this is the first book and make fun of me all you want because i've seen some comments that are not very nice but it's the first book that i actually read completely i have severe dyslexia and adhd so the words tend to jump around but this is the first book that i actually read and i read it on one day you guys so I'm very proud of myself. Look at Brittany doing doing God's work. Honey. Brittany got me to read, honey. Um, no, but I'm very grateful that... Uh, and, and maybe I, I told my husband, I'm like, am I entering my new uh, reader's era? So let's see if I get to read another book because reading is just not my thing. But girl, this book, oh, it was a read, honey. It was a good read. And talking about reads, she does talk about Christina. So I'm going to actually um, tell you guys everything she said about Christina. So... Before we get into that, Christina and Brittany have had a history, okay? Um, Christina Aguilera and Brittany, I think a lot of the feud was made up by us fans, if I'm being honest. Um, and I think that, I think it's safe to say, like, for example, and I'm going to be super honest, like, when I was younger, of course, I was always saying, you know, Britney's better, Britney's better, you know, fuck Christina, da-da. But as I, get, I, as I got older, you know, I'm like... Pinning women against women is not is not the vibe. And I was I was called out by that by a friend. You know, she was like, look, what you're doing is pinning women against women, and that's not cool. And I'm like, oh my God, maybe you are right. So, you know, I now admire Christine. I think she has an amazing talent. I think that she is one of the greatest vocalists in the entertainment business. Um, I know here living in Los Angeles that there is a lot of talk in the in the Hollywood streets. I've met a lot of people who have worked with her or met her. And they they a lot of them don't have the best experience. But I was not their girl, so I cannot judge. I'm just telling you what I've heard. Um, and having said that, you know, Britney has had her share of, you know, attacks or comments by Christina. Um, and, you know, Britney has definitely, you know, responded a little bit here and there, but nothing, nothing to the, to the level that I think the fans have taken it. You know what I mean? So I think that Christina Aguilera had to, she had to been in the book. Now, to what degree and how much Britney was going to spill, I was actually really surprised because I thought everything Britney was said, uh, said was really nice. So she started by talking about, um, she just mentioned her in the Mickey Mouse days. So she said, a girl from Pennsylvania named Christina Aguilera and I were told we hadn't made the cut that we were too talented, but we were, but that we were too talented. Okay. So she's talking about when they were a little younger and Mickey Mouse Club and that's it. Um, then she goes on to say the Mickey, the, the Mouseketeers quickly split, a split, ugh, bitch, I, I, here I am talking about how I can read real good and now I can't read. Um, uh, the Mouseketeers quickly split into our own cliques, divided by the dressing rooms that we shared. Christina Aguilera and I were the younger kids and we shared a dressing room with another girl, Nikki DeLoach. We looked up to the older girls. So that's all she said there. Then she said, she talked about the press. So um, before I read this to you guys, um, this was right before um, when she was talking about basically how America seemed to have, and the whole world, I think, seemed to have an issue with Britney being sexy, right? Because you had people like Jennifer Lopez, Christina Aguilera, uh, Kate Hudson, you know, uh, a bunch of Jennifer Love Hewitt, a bunch of people at the time were being sexy and were being this and were being that, but then Britney did it, you know, and she was called a slut, she was called a this, she was called that, people were outraged, parents were, were having nervous breakdowns everywhere because little Shirley wanted to also show her belly button, you know, uh, confused Sebastian also wanted to show his belly button, so it became a huge thing, but when other people did, it seemed like it didn't matter, so she said, 
The entertainment press was full of positive stories about Justin and Christina Aguilera. Christina was on the cover of Blender, dressed like a madam from the Old West in that story. She said that Justin and I should get back together. So this was around the time where Britney, where Justin broke up with Britney over a text message, or sorry, should I say curly, ramen haired, uh, freaking, Oh, he's so damn annoying, bitch. I, the, listen, when I read this book, I have to tell you guys, I'd rather stay in a damn room in a freaking two by two, me sitting on Joy Fatone's lap and him saying, wah, wah, over and over, than look at Justin Bieber's freaking hair, okay? And look at his damn face because he had everyone fooled. That low down mother, you know what? Amazing grace. I'm not going to fall into the temptation. Um, then, uh, you know, she was a little bit confused about that because, uh, you know, Christina and Brittany were never like that tight, you know, for Christina to like wish her well, if that makes sense. So she then goes on to say, which was just confusing given how negative she's been elsewhere. Uh, seeing people I'd known so intimately talk about me th that way in the press stung. Even if they weren't trying to be cruel, it felt like they were just pouring salt in the wound. So I get what she means. Like somebody who isn't that close to you saying like, oh, they should get back together. I think it'd be really sweet. You know, obviously that hurts because obviously the way that he did it, the very cowardly way that he did it, you know, it was it was disgusting. I mean, he literally wrote it over a text message saying it's over. Like, who does that? Who does that? You know what I mean? Like, Justin, girl, uh -uh, I don't know if it was the bleach, the hairspray, the curlers, bitch. I don't know what the hell it was. That freaking, uh, what is it called? Shouted? No, no, not shouted. Um, uh, the thing you're, 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 girl, I can't talk, bitch. That clouded your judgment, bitch. Okay, okay, girl. <laughs> But it was just, it, it, two plus two is four and five is five is 10. What the fuck was that, Justin? Okay. Um, so then obviously you do know that just, uh, Justin and Christina went on tour together and um, they, they did a cover for Rolling Stone together, right? Um, <clears throat> and she said that, <clears throat> you know, they did the cover and in the cover, it, it said like they were both hooking up to, you know, to go on this great tour. But the way that they kind of like got together, I really do believe that re the record companies and the teams knew that this was going to cause sensation because Justin was just coming out. Christina was, I believe, on the Stripped album, which is amazing. Um, I do love that album. And here's the thing, you guys, the older you get, the more you could, you could appreciate things without, you know, without standing people. You know what I mean? Um, but they went on tour together and of course it was like, it was like, because Christina was known to be Britney's like rival and enemy. And now she's, you know, hooking up with the ex to go on tour with him. I think that really was such a, like a, a, a media play. It was such a, their teams worked so hard to see because the promotion of it all is like too anti britney people getting together and going on tour, right? It's just insane, actually. I, it's really like the Mean Girls Club, you know? Um, she said that even if they weren't trying to be cruel, it felt like they were just pouring salt on the wound. So that, to me, makes, makes it seem like she wasn't saying that they were cruel, even if they weren't trying, if that makes sense. It still hurt. And then she finally just said... Um, I think a lot of people are really professional on TV, like Christina Aguilera and Gwen Stefani. When the camera is on, they thrive, and that's great. So here she was actually talking about the X Factor. Britney hated to be on the X Factor. Like, it was something that I, I believe it was forced on her. And she is referring to when she was on live TV, you know, she is the highest paid judge on reality competition TV. She got paid $15 million. And she was referring to that. And she was basically saying that, you know, she hated every single minute. And she was actually giving props to Christina because Christina was on The Voice and Gwen Stefani as well. So that's what she was saying there. And then one thing that I don't think that a lot of people know is that she says, 
The tours under the conservatorship were strictly sober, so we weren't allowed to drink. Once I ended up with the most with most of the same dancers as Christina Aguilera, the dancers and I met up with Christina in Los Angeles. She seemed pretty messed up, as in she was tipsy. Um, but the dancers and I wound up swimming in a beautiful pool and sitting in a jacuzzi. It would have been nice to have drinks with them to get rebellious, sassy, and fun. So she's she's literally just saying that, you know, everyone else had was able to have a good time. There's another thing in the book that says she was invited. I don't remember exactly where she was invited, or she would get invited to places when in the conservatorship and her her team had to go and they had to make sure that no alcohol was served, no no drugs, not even Tylenol was available. And she says that after she would leave, she felt like everybody kind of breathed a sigh of relief and that's when the real party started, you know? So she, she definitely, I think, saw people like Christina who were the same age, who had the same upbringing, be free and be wild and be in their 20s and have fun. And she couldn't do that, you know, or, or even her 30s. So... I don't think she went in hard on Christina. I, I think that I think that everything else that's out there, like the rumors of them, you know, allegedly getting into fights in clubs and, and Christina putting her tongue down Britney's throat and the kiss, you know, the kiss that, you know, it really seemed like Christina Aguilera was not there. Christina Aguilera slammed Britney for lip syncing and, and for, you know, it's just, they, there's a lot of drama that happened throughout the years that didn't make the book. Um, so I felt like this was a, a way of Brittany to say, like, there's no hard feelings, you know, we don't have to ignite any kind of drama or anything. Um, and I, I think it would be really refreshing if maybe, you know, Brittany and Christina maybe sat down and talked, you know, I, I think that maybe they're, they're at an age where, you know, things are different, who knows, but Sometimes I also have to say, and I end this video like this, you don't have to be friends with everybody. You don't have to like everybody and you don't have to get along with everybody. I just feel like you have to respect everybody. I feel like you have to respect people and that's about it, right? Because I don't I don't get it. Like when we were younger, we were like, we have to be friends with everybody. Blah, blah, blah. But that's not the case. There's people that you meet that you just don't, don't like. There's people that you meet that you don't click with. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So that's everything Brittany said about Christina in this book. Because I'm quite sure there's going to be a volume two. So anyways, you guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching, girl. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support and I love you all very much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.